Today we're opening mail from five different countries. Let's see what we've got. Hey everyone, welcome to Collecting Music Cards right here on the Cardboard Portfolio channel. My name is Reed, and today we're going to open mail from Argentina, Canada, Italy, Sweden, and the United States. Let's go. I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm going to pre-slice these envelopes and fast forward through this part so I can take my time and make sure I don't damage anything. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna open these in no particular order. I do know what's in these packages, and the only thing I'm really looking for is what the actual condition of the items that I ordered are coming to me in. So I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what I've got here, um, but we'll, we'll, see what's, we'll see what's inside of these. Okay, here we go. First item. Saves a little time by slicing them open in the beginning. Okay, let's be careful. This is all falling apart here. And, ah, okay, here we go. So we're starting off strong. This is Britney Spears. And I want to be careful with this because in here, is her uh, Baby One More Time CD, but most importantly, what I ordered it for is the Britney Baseball Rookie Card. And they refer to it as the Britney Baseball Card. Let's see, is it in here or is it there? I'm just hoping it's in some kind of a sleeve. Up oh, there it is. It is not in any kind of a sleeve. So keep in mind, I'm always ordering these, always ordering these looking for great condition cards. You never, you never know what you're going to get. You order accordingly. 
I got this at a fairly good value. I still paid a lot of money for it, but I got it for a fairly fairly good value. So um, no matter what I get, I, I'm you know I'm typically happy with it unless it's got a great big crease in it that someone didn't disclose or something like that. So let's take a peek at this and see what we've got. I'm going to bring in my little uh, magnifier here. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to... I use the penny sleeves to pick up the cards like so. Just kind of slide it under there. Okay. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Right off the bat, uh, first thing I'm going to look at is glare to see what we've got as far as a surface. And so far, so good. Nothing really getting in my way here we do have a little bit of a, a little bit of issue down in the bottom left corner there no big deal looks like a little bit of a not a crease but a little bit of almost a bend there that might be able to you know I might be able to press down on that and it might go away but probably not but probably not and it's got really a pretty good surface on it corners are really nice except for what i'm talking about down there let me see if you can even see what i'm talking about there well i'll show it to the camera the other camera in a second uh corners are good edges are good the back is very nice so this is a good card I'm very happy with this. That is the 1998 Jive Records Britney Spears baseball card. Comes in the baby one more time. Double track CD. Pretty rare card. Um, very excited to get this. Okay. Let's put that one aside here. And let me get the CD out of here. Next one. And that one, uh, by the way, was from the United States. This one is from Canada. Yeah, there's a Canadian flag there, Canada. And this is going to be an Alice Cooper card. Wrapped up very nicely. I'll show you how this is done. Um, he takes a post-it note and folds it over the top of the card. That way, if the card wants to slide out of here, it hits that without hitting any tape. If you seal the top of this with a tape, that it can reach up, and if it tries to get that far, it'll it'll hit the tape. This is really nice that he has it this way. Uh, let's see. Take this off. This is just packaged all together correctly. It's got a penny sleeve in there. It's got a top loader for shipping. And uh, let's take a peek at this card. Alice Cooper. Let's bring this back. Let's see what we've got. Get myself some intentional glare to get an idea of what we've got. We've got a really nice card here. There's no issues with the surface. There's no issues with the corners. And you can usually see pretty quick, but even on closer inspection, the edges are nice. The back is very clear. It's not moldy at all in any way. And keep in mind, this is a 1978 Samler Saker, uh, which means this card is 45 years old. Here's a mint condition 45-year-old card. I don't know if it's gem mint, but it's definitely mint condition 45-year-old card of Alice Cooper. And me being from Michigan, uh, I like that. Alice Cooper is from, uh, from Michigan. And he's drinking a Michelob in this, uh, in this picture. 
So this is really cool. Give you a close look in there in the camera. Be very careful. And there is Alice Cooper. Nineteen seventy eight Samler Saker. Great card. That's a home run right there. I got a very good value on this card. I'm going to go ahead and put this Brittany in this sleeve that I had over here. I don't want anything happening to her. So we got that. And then next one is... I thought I cut this open a little bit. Let's try it again. There we go. Just gonna pull this out. This one comes to us from Sweden. So I order a lot of cards from Sweden. This is a Swedish Sammler Saker, so there we go. It's uh, This is 1978 again. And Let's just see what we've got here. Bring in our magnifier. Let's take a peek at what we've got. I am definitely liking what I'm seeing. Boy, we're, uh, we're getting really lucky today. It doesn't always go that way when you buy a lot of things uh, internationally. That is very nice condition. The back is exceptional. Nice and clear, nice and white. Corners are great. Edges are great. Centering is great. I didn't mention on the Alice Cooper, the centering was exceptional. On the Brittany, you can barely you can't really tell because it's a full bleed card to the edge. There's Ozzy right there in all his glory. So yeah, this is a really nice condition card here. And I'll give you a peek of this. There is Ozzy and the boys. Black Sabbath. What a great card. Very happy to have that. Once again, a card I feel I got a good value on. I didn't steal any of these, but I got a good value on these. There's Ozzy there. Uh, who's next? Let's see. We'll pull this one up. This one is... Something tells me this is United States. And all right. Okay. This is a uh, Willie Nelson card. 1992 Sterling Country Gold comes out of the jumbo boxes. Jumbo boxes only is where this comes because this is the gold version, the gold variety, the gold parallel. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, when I order these uh, and I buy these as often as I can, I am always looking for, you know, a really great condition one. I would love to 10 one of these one day, get a PSA 10 on it. I have not as of yet, and let's see if this card is going to do such a thing. I'm going to say probably not. Top edge. 
it's not the edge actually it's a little bit down from the edge almost towards where the ink starts there it's just it's either i don't know if it's mis it's it's a little bit wavy a little bit miscolored or something let me show you what we got here there's willie and that's why this is one of my favorite cards look at that picture this is awesome you can see that on the top it's kind of tough to see where it has gold it says uh country gold and it has that treble clef up there that's what makes it the gold variation otherwise that would be i think it's yellow and green uh ink so that's it that's willie right there awesome okay let me put him aside check my cameras here still good on both next one this is from Italy Let's see if I can get this snap that one Snap that one. Okay. Jimi Hendrix. This is a great card. 1973. 1973 Panini VIP OK set. A really cool set. At least a couple hundred cards in. It's a great set. 1973. Various music artists, world leaders, politicians, actors. Uh, just, um, they call it the OK VIP set. I really like this card of Jimmy. It is one of my favorite Jimmy cards. And let's see what we've got as far as condition on this one. This one I just, this one I ordered straight from someone in Italy. Wow, this is really nice on the front. Wow, the, the, the surface is incredible. The edges, corners, there's no dirt, there's no mold. Wow. And yeah, this is, a, this is an off-center back, which is okay. I've had one of these before that had this off-center of a back. I got a, VI, a, a PSA 6 on it. Um, this is really a great condition card. If this back wasn't off center, I would be thinking that this is a really high grading card. Now this could be a seven anyway, and that would be my highest grading one of these. So that is the 1973 Panini VIP OK of Jimi Hendrix. Very cool card. You should really check out the whole set. Do a Google search, find the whole set, and see who's in there. It's really cool. And let's see, where did I put my sleeve? Okay, that was from Italy. And now, this one, this is from Argentina. This will be 20 packs of some of my favorite cards to open. And these are somewhat rare. 1994. There's some great cards in here. You've got your first of the, of the Nirvanas and Dave Grohl and Kurt Cobain. And you've got some Red Hot Chili Peppers in here um, if you get them. There's at least a couple hundred cards in the set. Uh, I'm having a hard time here. And I have a uh, Kurt Cobain already. I have a Nirvana card. I do not have a Dave Grohl yet. So I'd love to get one of those. Let's see the condition of these packs. And I'll give you a little uh, what I know about these packs so far. 
Okay, so here's, these are 20 packs. They're, they look like they're in really nice shape. Yeah, these look like they're in nice shape. There's two sides to the pack, the top and the bottom. There's five cards in each. And there's 20 of these, so 10 times 20. There's 200 cards here. Enough to make a whole set if I got the right thing. So my odds are that I'm going to get my Dave Grohl. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to open these mostly in another video, but I'm not going to leave you hanging. I will open uh, two or three of these right now. So mostly also because I just can't stand not opening them right now. Open two or three of these. Let me uh, make some room here so I can not damage those cards right there. Okay. First pack. I'm not going to save these wrappers because I have a few. So I'm not going to toil over these too much. Okay, so whenever I open these, I notice that this top part and the back part sticks to the card quite a bit. If you peel it off like this, there is no damage to the card at all. It doesn't take anything with it. It's not waxy or it's a little bit waxy, but it's not, it doesn't leave anything on the card whatsoever. Um, wow, red hot chili peppers right off the bat. And I'm not going to go through and name all these. Okay, there's one side. Let me get this side now. These are from Argentina, like I said, 1994, 1994 International Rock Cards. Okay, let me put this aside and let's go through this. Dave Sable from Skid Row. There we go. Oh my God. Oh, right off the bat. That is the way to start right there. Oh man, I'm shaking. Kurt Cobain. Unbelievable. A bit off center. Nonetheless, a great card. Let me put this down just for a second. Wow. Just pulled a Kurt Cobain out of a pack of 1994 rock cards from Argentina. There it is. Let's take a look here. That is sick right there. Kurt Cobain. Now keep in mind, Panini in 1995... Panini had a Kurt Cobain in their Smash Hits collection, a sticker. This is a card, 1994. So this is like a first Kurt Cobain. I don't use the term uh, rookie, but I, I, I do believe this is a solid example of a first. There might be other cards of him out there that I don't know about. That's why I just, you know, I kind of say that with reservation, but... To me, this is a great card. I love it. All right, Kurt Cobain. Let's keep him handy. I don't have a sleeve right here. I'd sleeve him up, so I'm just going to be real careful in my environment here. Wow. Kurt Cobain. Let me make sure I've got this 
in the picture. Yes, I do. Uh, Gene Simmons, before makeup. Look at that. And there's Nikki Six from the crew. A uh, little Black Sabbath logo card. Guns N' Roses card. Wow. That's great. Let me take a peek at this Guns N' Roses. A little off center on the top, but side to side it's okay. Um, here's the thing about these cards too. They have a black edge. Anybody that knows about cards knows that a black edge is the kiss of death. These things over time chip. The black edge falls away. If you're getting them fresh out of the pack like this, this is your best option for getting great cards, especially when they have black edges. So there you go. Wow. First, just that pack was just a home run. That gives me two Kurt Cobains now. One day I'll get my Dave Grohl. I'm just being very careful. As careful as I can be. Check my cameras. I'm good. Okay, here we go. These are my new ones here. Pack number two. Nirvana. There's Chris right there. Wow. Just teasing me on this Dave Grohl thing. Just teasing me. There's Malcolm from ACDC. Very nice. Oh, my God. There it is. There it is. Dave Grohl. Holy smoke. No way. No way. This is oh, unbelievable. Yeah, and I am definitely shaking. Wow. Cut off center. Nonetheless, a great card. Very happy with that. Wow. Two packs. Two big hits. Take a look at that. Two packs, two big hits. Take a look at that. Dave Grohl. 1994 International Rock Cards from Argentina. Wow. That's craziness. That's insane. I mean, what else could I possibly get? I could use some more chili peppers, though. Iron Maiden logo card. See, this is a set where I'm not really looking for Jim Morrison. I'm not really looking for the Stones. I'm not really looking for Michael Jackson. They're all in here. Um, this is this is a set that's a long, you know, it's 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 down the road. It's 1994. It's not a real early set. Uh, you know, we all collect cards from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and on up. But this is a, you know, this this is a. How many years ago is this? 94 would be uh, 29 years ago. Uh, 29 year old cards, but nothing I'd be looking for. Um, I'm I'm really not looking for. Jim Morrison, I'm not looking for Stones. I'm not looking for, you know, just any of the bands that have been, you know, that were way before that. I'm looking for more current to this year new new artists. Brad Whitford. Oh, very nice. The Metallica card. Very cool. With all four of the boys there. That's a cool card right there. Check this out. Check that. Very nice. I love it. 
Okay. Another card I could really use is I could use a Lemmy for Motorhead. Because the one I have, I bought a, a while back, and it's not perfect by any means. Corners aren't perfect, but it was Lemmy. Um, if this has a Lemmy in it. <laughs> Oh, no way. No way. No. No. Kurt Cobain right on the front. Oh, my gosh. I had to look up to make sure this other camera picked that up. Kurt Cobain right on the front. Let's take a look at centering. I don't even want to touch it. Oh, my God. What a day. Okay. Let's see where we are on this. I'm going to put this aside a second. There's still five more cards in there. Oh, this is a nice one centering wise. I got to bring this over. I got to take a peek at this. The surface is really nice. Just want to see what's going on. The corner's okay. Oh, my gosh. This is outstanding. This is even better than the other one. This is crazy. Okay, guys. Kurt Cobain number two from today's poll. Three packs, one Grohl, two Kurt Cobains. It doesn't get any better than that. Maybe it does. Who knows? We'll see. Let me grab these. Go through these real quick. The Ramones. Oh, John Deacon from Queen. The Ramones card. Joey Ramone. Very sweet. That's a really nice condition. Joey Ramone. Look at the, the centering on that. Ed, black edges are really nice on that. The centering's exceptional. That's a great Joey Ramone right there. Guys, if you can get your hands on these packs, you absolutely have to do it. These are crazy, crazy packs. I can't wait to do the video and open those other 17 packs. This is crazy. This is a card that looks like it had a uh, printing issue. Or maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. I'll put that aside. Yeah, that looks like it had a printing issue right there. It's like, it looks like it's all washed out. The card's not damaged or anything. It's just... Unless that's the way the card's supposed to be. I don't think so. Oh, a beautiful Slash card, and it has great centering. Look at Slash. Slash from GNR. Oh, my gosh, look at this. That is a crazy card. I love it. Wow. Well, this has been a real thrill for me to do this. I'm very excited about this. I can't believe I got two Kurt Cobains out of there. Uh, I don't even know if there's anything left for uh, when I open the rest of the 17 packs, but I'm going to do the video anyway, so keep your, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. So that's all I have for these today. I mean, this was very exciting for me. I can't wait to open the other 17 packs. Like I said, these 1994 rock cards from Argentina are some of my favorite packs. They're very exciting. And if you can get a hold of some, try to do that. Yeah, I think that says it all. 
I want to thank you for stopping by today. I hope you enjoy all the videos as they are posted. If you think you may want to learn more about music cards, and if you're looking forward to more videos, hit the button and subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to take a peek at some of my personal collection online, you can find it on my website at www.cardboardportfolio.com. And if you're excited about being part or becoming part of this community, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what you have to say. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.